Hey bosses, it's Nina. So um, as most of you know, I absolutely love Visita. And um, it's just, I've veered off to other um, calendar items and applications and I always come back to Visita. So now I'm just a Visita client and partner. So um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how to add different services in different categories. Um, this is something I need someone on my team to start doing, so I thought I'd share with you guys. So basically, I'm in Visita and I've went to settings. Notice there's a couple of different items, like all of your business info, staff info. I'm gonna skip all of that and I'll do an overview if you'd like, just leave a comment below and I'll go completely through Visita and I'll set up a free, um, I'll set up a free version and um, see if I can show you the features, but I don't wanna share all of my details from my application. So anyways, under services, I'm gonna click on my services and I have all of my services in category. Some of them are consulting services, team meetings. I also add, I have started adding my webinars. So that means when I'm doing a webinar or when I'm doing a, um, live stream in the group, I'm going to start adding it on my Visita calendar. So it shows up like everything else and I get reminders like everything else. It's something I'm trying. I'll let you know how it works. And if it does, I'm actually going to do more time blocking here in Visita. Anyways, I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to add a category. You could also do this at the top, right? And so this category is going to be for training and this is going to be for prepaid services and clients right and if you okay so you'll notice I have my um, category here and on the right I can move it up to reorganize in here all of my services or I can click on the ellipsis and I can grab a link so I can send this directly to clients for this for anything that has to do with my training services I can rename it or delete it Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a one-on-one -on -one appointment. And this, I wanna do a training, um, let's call this client training. No, training session. This is something real that I have to add, so. Um, and this is gonna be a 20 minute, and I think I'm moving my 20 to 30 minutes. I think that's what I decided. Okay, so 30 minute session, right? It's gonna be online. And I need to grab my Zoom link, so just a second. Okay, I'm gonna go down, so since it says online, I'm going to select other, and where it says URL, I'm just gonna paste my Zoom link. And it looks like I paste everything, so just a second. Okay, now that I have my Zoom link, I just set this for 30 minutes, right? Zero hours. And I'm either gonna do with a fee and then see if I can use coupons, which I can't remember if I'm set up on the one that has coupons. So I don't wanna do that now. For now, I'll just put this as no fee. Um, if, I were to if I were to set the fee, then when people try to sign up for that um, service, they would have to pay before they can actually schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to no fee. Just wanna click on advance so you can see what options. Now it just, it expands it and you have additional options here when you click on um, advanced and I can add an image and I'm in the process of trying to create logos or images for these, but you can add an image, right? And it has to be 80 by 80. So it's a little icon basically. And then um, you can change the category if you need to, I'm going to keep them all here. And this is what I wanted to show you, show this service on the online booking service menu. I don't want anyone that hasn't already prepaid. Hold on, there's some people outside. Okay, and we're back. And so if you uncheck um, this button, um, it won't show on your page. And I'll show you what that means. Okay, so when people come to my page, they can schedule, right? And they can schedule discovery sessions, they can schedule consulting services, and they can actually just pay at that point. And any kind of clearance, there's like sales that I have going on. 
Um, this is one that I created as a test. This isn't the, or actually this is the one that we're looking at right now. So this shows here, because it's not something that someone has to pay in advance, I don't want anyone accidentally trying to select this option. So in Visita, I'm going to check to not show this, basically uncheck it so it doesn't show on the service menu. So once I click done, it will remove it. Um, here's all the options that we already filled out, right? This is their availability to schedule. So I have a default schedule for my business. So say my business hours are eight to five. So um, you can also have staff members, which I'm a staff member of my own company, and you can say that their schedule is one to four. If you have two people, you can say another, you know, or three or four, you just put each of their schedules in. And so I have regular business hours um, that you can say they're available from eight to five, or I can say, these are my hours that they're available. Like I only work one to four, or I only work, you know, eight to five or seven to six, whatever your, um, your schedule is, you can put here and then this service will be attached to a particular person. I'm not gonna go into that too much because most of us um, are just using this for a single person, but I wanted to let you know is if you're using a tattoo shop, using this for, excuse me, a tattoo shop or a hair salon or a makeup artist or anything like that, you can have um, different staff members there. Okay, let's go through the additional items. So under price, Again, we have this as a free don't display, right? But there's other options. So you can say that display it, but you don't have to take the online payment. And actually that might be what I do because I think I wanna make sure people know the cost of these. And I believe these were at, let's just say one fifty. Actually, let me wait until I, um, 299, I think it's 299. Um, so I'm just gonna put 299 there. And what we'll do, so there's, they don't have to pay it, but what happens is if you put the um, price there, then they'll be able to see what that session is, excuse me, that session cost and the value of it. So I do like that with my clients. Um, this is a staff member. Again, it's just me, but these are part of the hours that I talked about. Um, booking options, I'm gonna leave all of this, but let me just see. Do, do, do. These are all the notifications. So at the bottom, it says client intake form. If you want to ask any additional information, so for instance, for this, it's your first name, last name, mobile, and how did you hear about me? I want to actually add, um, company because sometimes I'm training staff of people. Um, and I want to make sure that I account for all, um, of the trainings I do. And I think that's all display general notes fields and the scheduling form. Okay, that's it. So once I click on done, it's saved. And if you notice, it's down here, where it says training sessions 30 minutes. And there's something else I wanted to show you if I click back in it, you can grab the link. So now if I grab the link, what I can do is I can put this in um, an email or automation. So I'm just gonna put the link in here. So instead of sending someone to my splash page or my page for scheduling any of my services where they get confused, I am going to send them directly to this 30 minute training session and they only see what's available for that and there's no confusion or I didn't know what to pick. And that's actually something I need to work on and that's why I'm categorizing this because I have so many different types of meetings that I wanna make sure um, I'm tracking which meetings I have for who, and then later on I can do some reports. I can also just um, help people find the right service instead of them being distracted. Okay, if you have any questions on VCTA or if you want a training, I'm probably gonna be doing this in my Pink Boss Academy um, or just as a course on learnedit.online. I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna do with this. So if you have questions, let me know and I'll answer specific questions over here on YouTube and then probably do an overall training or maybe I'll do a webinar in the Pink Boss Club. I'm still trying to decide, but I just wanted to introduce you to some of these features that I'm using. Um, comments and questions below, make sure you follow me, peace.